everybody welcome back welcome if you're new i see the god in you let's get right into this timeless love reading stay tuned to the end because it's gonna be juicy we have quite a few intimate questions the first one is what does the person on your mind want to say to you libra I am so excited for this reading. I'm Libra, I'm Moon Rising, Venus, and Mercury. What do they want to say to you right now? I want a second chance. Not being with you is killing me. So right away, you already know what that means. If you're in a situation... And it kind of seems like this person's moving on. Are you moving on from this person? They're getting that. Then they're definitely wanting you to stay with them. This was a hard lesson I needed to learn. I was out of control. So I definitely get a vibe that... You gave this person like chance after chance after chance to kind of like get it right and maybe you walking away from them or creating some sort of boundary is what they needed. This is giving the vibe of some really mature, immature energy so you could be dealing with someone who's younger than you or <sighs> anyway um let's get like two more here and see what else do they want to say <laughs> I look at my phone every day hoping I would see a message from you so wow this is like this is actually telling a straight up story even if you're already in com communication with this person, I'm feeling like they want more communication from you. And if you have blocked this person, cut them off, stop talking to them, created any sort of distance, they want more communication with you. They want back in. This is a love reading, but sidebar, I am hearing that this for some of you could be actually like a friend or a close family member or something like that. Um, Wow, I don't know, cause I, you know, this this is out. Of, I was out of control. That's like really like very immature energy. Nobody got time for that. You know what I'm saying, Libra? Let's get one more. Mm, they really want to talk to you. Okay. Mm, you are different from the rest. They didn't mean anything. Wow. I only want you. So. I mean, if <sighs> some people say, you know, sex is just sex. Some people feel like, you know, cheating is intimacy. What, it, what is it that, you know, oh my goodness, I cannot wait right now. I cannot wait to see what is this person's intentions towards you. Um, they're letting you know that if they did something, if they were talking, texting, there can be so many different scenarios. Um, all right, Libra. Yes, let's just see. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury. Let's see. You are different from the rest. They didn't mean anything to me. Wow. Okay, so what are their intentions? What are their intentions? Okay, yeah. So this person could be trying to do things to make it up to you. They could be offering you extending an olive branch through gifts. And for some of you, it's just like they need to like try a little bit harder. You might not like it. Um honestly, this person, they could be hot and cold. Their current intentions are to throw you off. They don't want you to, with this confusion here, next to give, gifts and offers, 
you know, this gift that you're going to receive from this person is going to come with, you know, um, a price tag. You know, it's going to, it's going to really throw you off. It's going to make you think like it's one thing, but it's something else. They want to confuse you. They want to gaslight you. That's what I'm getting for some of you. If you were confused, you won't be anymore. They do want to spend time with you. They want you to, especially if you've been cold or distant from them, their current intentions is to get you to, to butter you up, embrace, to hug you, to be around you, to be affectionate. And I think it's going to throw you off whatever this gift is that they give you. They could invite you on a trip or do something like that's going to have you like, what? <laughs> Especially if you've been distant with them or there's been a lack in communication. They want to create karmic cycles with you. They want to create moon cycles with you. They definitely want to travel with you. And they kind of want this connection or relationship to... Why did I just hear run its course? I'm not really getting that they want it to run its course. This reminds me of the world card. So this could really be going through, you know, cycles like relationships, like time, you know, a life with you, good and the bad type of energy is what I'm getting. But I don't like that. I don't know why I don't like that. Endings and beginnings. Yeah. Um, for some of you, they might be their current intentions is to like leave a situation behind, leave a lifestyle, a way of living behind. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. Could be dealing with the world card, Aquarius, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus. Okay. Um, let's get into the tarot because I'm really curious to see with this endings and beginnings. How are you feeling about this person? Then we're going to see how they're feeling about you. And what are their thoughts about you? Um, we'll get some advice. So how are you feeling about this situation right now? Whether you guys are together. It does seem like for some of you, this could be an on again, off again. For some of you, it's just like, you don't, it's like unspoken. Some of you, it's like common law. And for some of you, you could be in a relationship. But if you're single as a Pringle Libra, let me know down in the comments, okay? So let's see what you're thinking about this person. Hmm. Do you feel like this person talks a good game? Like they have the gift of gab. You feel like a lot of times... Even though they might confuse you, you kind of feel like it's mm, your emotions. They, they mentally stimulate you. Okay. Yeah, this person has your mind. Got you tripping. Could be dealing with another Libra, a Gemini or Aquarius. Okay. Um... that does not want to come out i feel like okay fine uh don't try too hard i feel like you're definitely not trying hard with this person you're definitely not trying to be stuck on this person let's see how else are you feeling about this person oh okay nine of swords in reverse honestly you feel like this person <laughs> It's like if you try to tell them something you don't like or something that's bothering you or you just you're you might even be wondering, like, is this for, are they bipolar? Like, what is up with this? Bitch? That's what I'm hearing <laughs> from you. <laughs> oh, this person's a mixed bag. Look at that. Seven of cups you cannot make this up it's like you feel this soul connection with them you feel this soul vibe with them like you feel like that's your person but then it's like you see other sides of them that you know at times it can be a bit confusing you know there's a lot of confusion here 
I'm telling you, you know, and Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy here. It's just like you don't know what you're going to get. This person lacks being consistent with you. And it's like they have you wrapped up. If you're not, you were. So don't even act like you were not. This person still, they, they got you thinking. They definitely got you thinking. Yeah. The time that you spent with them, I feel... And for some of you, you could even have children with this person or you could have like grown up, grown up with this person. Um, you, it's like you're 50, 50, you kind of want this to work, but at the same time, you're like, if it don't, if it doesn't work, then like, at least I'll have the clarity. I just feel like you want clarity overall more than anything. Okay. You're just tired of going through these constant loops and cycles and battles with this person, especially if this is a long distance connection or if either of you have to like travel for work, if there is some sort of, you know, inconsistencies with communication and seeing each other. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that, okay? Yeah, you could be missing this person. You could be feeling like this person is not really making the time for you that that they could. But also, too, on the flip side, for some of you, I'm hearing I'm hearing a lot of messages. You feel like this person lacks. Um, they have some sort of poverty lack consciousness. Even if this person is wealthy or they have a lot going on in their lives, it's just something about them. Like maybe they're like you know <laughs> having um some difficulties like you're just you just want to be over the drama could be something going on with this person financially for some of you okay um i am getting more of a spiritual thing with this five of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn energy let's see how they're feeling about you i'm actually going to use um let's use the vice versa tarot and see how they're feeling Okay, yes, let's see how are they feeling about you, Libra. How are they currently feeling in the present moment about you and this connection? <laughs> wow. Oh, look at that. You're actually showing up as yourself. You are in your divine feminine energy and everything you want is like a moth to a flame it's just like oh this person feels like yeah like you are the ultimate mother you are are the ultimate fashionista you are the ultimate you know creme de la creme you are just everything you're so nurturing and if they haven't been able to have your food or be in your energy or invited to your parties or be around you, um, yeah, it's like, man, <laughs> they're missing it. They are. They really are. Oh, my goodness. I'm hearing summertime sadness. So I, I do feel like maybe, you know, something happened over the summertime. They feel like they need to grow up and they could be literally mentally ill without you. Like this person feels kind of broke down without you. Um, if this is a new, newer sort of like connection, this person could just be feeling like they want to rebel a little bit to confuse you because they like you so much just i'm getting it's like that high school i don't know kind of crush type of vibe that i'm getting but yeah mm, how are they feeling about you they do care like they want to check on you they want to make sure you're you're okay they worry about you but also this person listen even though they might be confusing they do feel like you're their match especially if there's like you know um, they're a bit more mature than you in age, then they could be feeling like, yeah, you, you would be the right person to settle down with. You'd be the right person to like invest in. 
Mm, I'm not feeling all these swords. These swords are kind of like, what? So could be dealing with another Libra. Aquarius, Gemini. Look at that. Gemini energy is coming through really strong. So, yeah. They feel like you're their soulmate. <laughs> um, yeah. And honestly, they would choose you. I'm hearing like I would choose you every time. I would bet on you every time. I would choose you every single time. On the low, though. <laughs> Like, they might not want you to know that, but that's the wave that I'm getting. That's the vibe. It's like... <laughs> I will confuse you. Yeah, because the lovers, this can be about a choice, okay? Pisces energy is also coming through. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Scorpio energy. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Mm, that's... Ooh. Mm, 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 mm. that's interesting let's get some more let's get some more it's like ooh, they you know they could really be like literally daydreaming about being in your presence daydreaming about spending time with you especially if there has been any separation if you if you put this person out in the cold maybe for some of you you left this person you left them out in the cold um I wouldn't be surprised if this person rolls up on you, okay? Um, because they really do feel like you have moved on. They feel like this ship has sailed. <laughs> the number five could be significant for some of you. The number four, 21 could be significant. 430 could be significant, okay? Um, yeah, they just kind of feel like <laughs> this ship has sailed. They're just hoping that you choose them again because they would choose you over and over again. That's the wave. That's the vibe. I'm not even kidding. Look at this. We got the Ace of Cups. If you've been with this person for a while, this could be some sort of reconciliation, healing, expansion in your connection. If you've been having any sort of disagreements or arguments, yeah, they're kind of wanting to reconcile with you they're feeling like your self-love is off the chain i guarantee you that if there's a shot of you like let's say that like there's just any shot like maybe you were in a relationship you're out or something like that or you know they want their shot with you okay and it's because of your self-love they just feel like you love yourself so much yes queen of pentacles energy coming through i love it okay so let's just see what are their thoughts what are they thinking about when they think of you this could be something that you felt intuitively or you just know already or a confirmation of something they haven't told you what are the thoughts and then we'll get some advice yes libra oh <laughs> i want to get you drunk they feel like you know you have you, you play this goody good girl role but you know they want to get you like they want to get you fucked up and like turn you into a bad girl okay <laughs> or a bad boy whatever you know what i'm saying no pun intended i'm just saying <laughs> um yeah it could lead to this could lead to to children so if you're not trying to like have no babies or have no more babies just make sure you use some form of protection because, yeah, this person is a legit freak for you. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm hearing before and after. I don't know what that means. <laughs> you let me know. Let me know. The number six could be significant for you. Could be dealing with a Virgo. Let's see. All right. Yeah, it's like 
they need to get they, they it's time for them to ground themselves they know that their head is up in the clouds they know that it's something that's just not going right upstairs and and they feel like you really are trying to give this energy off to them like you know time to ground yourself this person could be going through some sort of spiritual awakening do you even care yes they just don't want to be made a fool of you know what i'm saying like they legit just don't want to be made a fool of and for some of you this is kind of messed up but i do feel like they play mind games and act like they don't care with this confusion but at the end of the day just remember this person would choose you like a thousand times okay over and over again all right, I'm hearing some like deep poetic stuff. So I don't know if this person's like a writer or they're really good with words. I don't want to lose you. Will you choose me? Oh my goodness, you see? And wait, so what are you waiting for? I'm not sure, but I do get the vibe here that, you know, this person really does want you to choose them because they would choose you every time but at the end of the day it's like i don't know how long do i have to wait i'm an impatient person i don't i really don't be i don't be having the time for all the mind games and the this and the that i do you know i'm a sapiosexual so the best way like you know it's it's mental simulation i feel that you know this person they get that from you but at the same time it's like they're confusing it's one thing to be like intellectual and it's another thing to be like you you're so smart that you're dumb you know what i'm saying <laughs> what are you waiting for how long are you gonna wait what what what's going on right you know what i'm saying so yeah oh look at that on the bottom of the deck i'm a very jealous person Oh, they're really tripping. Uh, let me, we need to get some advice. Because I'm really getting this, this, this is the vibe I'm getting. So you want me to wait, but you want to play mind games to act like you don't want me to wait. Because this person does, you know, they want to hear from you. But at the same time, it's like, I, I don't know, I'm hearing like they want their cake and eat it too. You're dealing with a lot. You are dealing with a whole lot all right let's get some advice on this current situation let's get some advice on this current situation for my dear libras let go of control issues allow the situation to to unfold naturally so yeah don't be pressed about communication don't be pressed about nothing don't try to manipulate situations be careful with that okay because i know you libra sometimes you can be a little bit you know strategic and you know <laughs> I'm just saying. So, let go of control issues when it comes to the situation. I do see angels. I feel that um, there are going to be some signs and some synchronicities I'm seeing from, like, your angels or your ancestors. They're wanting to step in and intervene. So, you will know what's going on once you, like, let go of your ego. I see that card also having to do with the ego, okay? Um, allow the situation to unfold naturally. This person's going to come to you and they're going to come correct if this is meant to be and release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So, yeah, I'm just saying like if, you know, your ex or there's past trauma from past relationships getting in the way of you having something solid and not being confused okay if you're dealing with someone who's making you confused if you're causing confusion confusion because of your ex listen i'm not even gonna say like you know you can't be a player live your life okay 
<laughs> this is your path, your journey, your story, all right? I'm just saying that if you really want something serious with someone new or the current person that you're with, you have to release the trauma, the baggage, and sometimes, like, legit the relationship with your ex. It could just be as simple as that. That's the way, that's the vibe of Libra. Namaste. I'll see you soon in your next reading. Until then, peace and love.